Are you ready to dive into some summer reading but you have no idea what to read? Well, no worries, I've got you covered because in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my summer reading book recommendations that you should add to your TBR and books I think you should be reading this summer. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Stacy. if you're new here. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so glad you're here today. I run this channel with my twin sister Steph, so we would love for you to stick around. We um, do lots of lifestyle content, but a lot of books and reading content. So we would love for you to join our community, join our family, and hit the subscribe button below. But I'm so excited for today's video because like I said in the intro, I'm going to be sharing with you my summer reading book recommendations for you to add to your TBR. So books that I have read that are my favorites that are appropriate for summer that I think that you should read this summer and books that I think you should add to your summer reading list or your TBR. So I'm really excited. I hope you enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any recommendations for summer books to read this summer that I didn't mention, please leave them in a comment down below. I would love to hear and get some recommendations from you. And if you've read any of the books I talk about today, comment down below with your thoughts. I would love to hear. But without further ado, let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy it. So, like I said, I'm sharing all books that I have read in the summers in the past and have absolutely loved and that I recommend to you. So, of course, you probably know what series I'm going to start with. That is the absolute perfect series for summer. So you probably guessed it. It is the Summer I Turned Pretty series by Jenny Han. So if you've been a reader or in this community, you've heard of this series. Um, it is like always talked about. It's a lot of people's favorite series and it's now a TV show on Amazon Prime Video. Season one came out last year and I absolutely loved it. Season two is coming out July 14th. So I'm so excited. Comment below if you love the show too and you're excited for season two. But I have to recommend this series to you guys because it just describes summer perfectly. It is the perfect YA young adult summer contemporary series. So it's a trilogy. If you didn't know, these are the three books. My twin sister stuff got me this beautiful paperback set um for my for our birthday since we're twins um a couple years ago and I absolutely love it so there's three books if you didn't know so the first one of course is called The Summer I Turned Pretty and I absolutely love these covers um I had the original covers which were white you know you guys know they looked like the white hard covers and paperbacks but they redid them and I absolutely love these I had to get them they're so summery with all of, like the shells and the florals so book one is The Summer I Turned Pretty Book two is It's Not Summer Without You. Book three will always have summer. It's just the perfect summer series about a girl, a 16 year old girl named Belly, who um, she goes to this beach house at Cousins Beach every summer with her family and their family friends have two sons, Conrad and Jeremiah, and she's like always liked Conrad. Um, there's just a lot of like romance and kind of like self-discovery as she's coming into herself, figuring out who she is as a teenager and kind of like growing up. It's just a beautiful, beautiful series and story. I highly recommend it if you have not read the Summer I Turned Pretty series by Jenny Han and it takes place every summer that they go to the beach house at the beach. So it is so appropriate and so perfect for summer. I really want to reread them. Um, before season one of the show premiered last summer, I actually reread book one, the first one. So I think I'm going to try to reread book two before season two comes out, but I don't know if I'll have time to, but I really do want to reread them because I read these in high school in like the 2010s when they came out. And I've been wanting to reread them more and more ever since. So I reread book one last year before the show came out and I absolutely still loved it. I felt the same about it as I did when I was younger. Um, so I highly recommend it whether you're an adult, whether you're a teenager. It's really good for anyone. It's so easy to read. I love Jenny Han's writing. The characters are so much fun. They're so likable. Definitely check out the Summer I Turn Pretty series if you haven't yet. I'm sure most of you have. An adult. 
Um, and by the way, all the books I'm sharing are pretty much like contemporary romance in this video because that is how I define summer reading. In the summer, I like to read very lighthearted, cute, like romance, contemporary style books mostly. Some cozy mysteries, some thrillers, some fantasy, but I read mostly contemporary and romance for the summer. So that is what I'm sharing with you in this video. Um, so if you have recommendations for other genres that you like to read in the summer, leave them below. But just to let you know, this video is mostly going to be, it's pretty much all like summer, like contemporary romance style books. So the second series I recommend, if you like young adult, it's just like quick books. It might even be middle grade, actually. I'm not sure. Um, but I read it a long time ago when I was a teenager and I really enjoyed the series. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. So it's a series called Camp Confidential and... It's just a really cute like series for younger readers. I mean, you could still read it as an adult too. Um, but I was always intrigued by the idea of like summer camp and I'd never gone to camp as a kid or anything. I don't know, so it always intrigued me. So I loved Camp Confidential because it's basically about like a bunch of girls who are friends and they go to camp for the summer, like sleepaway camp. And it's kind of like their journey through like self-discovery, and like figuring out who they are there's some romance it's just like about them at camp and it's just like a fun series and i've never heard anybody talk about it so let me know if you've heard of or read the camp confidential series but i'll put the picture on here it's a long series i forget how many books there are because i wrote them like in high school but i highly recommend it if you're if you like summer camp and books about like people going to camp it's just really fun and interesting so i recommend the camp confidential series and they're super short just quick easy reads so they're nice for the summer if you just want something very light-hearted young um and just like easy to get through so definitely recommend the camp confidential series to read the summer as well the next um i'm gonna share some authors that i also recommend reading in the summer like i always do so one of my all-time favorite authors for adult books is nicholas sparks you guys probably have heard of him you know who he is he has done so many books that have done really really well he does really a really great job writing adult romance i think he's incredible i love him i've read all of, like his older books i'm still catching up on his more recent ones but um, he did so many books that they've turned into movies, like The Last Song, Dear John, The Notebook, A Walk to Remember, so many. So you probably know who he is, even if you haven't read his books. But I love all of his books. Definitely recommend them. Like I, I said, I've read all of his older ones. I'm still catching up on the new ones. So stay tuned for um, my TBR, my summer TBR video. That'll be coming very soon because I am going to share um, that I'm definitely going to be reading more of Nicholas Sparks this summer. But for now, there is one book that I do recommend. So I pretty much just, I pretty much think of all of Nicholas Sparks' books as beach reads. They're all good reads to read on the beach because um, he, all his books take place in North Carolina where he's from and like on the beach. So they're good beach reads. His books um, are both lighthearted, but they also have some dark elements to them. Um, but they're really, really good love stories. So I highly recommend him. So the one, um, you could read any of his books in the summer, but the one that I most recommend reading from him in the summer is The Last Song. We just got this copy. I used to have it and we got rid of it. So we got a new copy recently. This is one of my all-time favorite books from him. This one and The Longest Ride are my favorites. If you're a Nicholas Sparks fan, comment below what your favorite book is from him. But this is one of my favorites, The Last Song. It was also turned into a movie with Miley Cyrus and Liam Hensworth a while ago. I love the book and the movie. They're both great. I highly recommend them. You could just tell the cover is super beachy. Um, it's just like a really, really beautiful story. Um, it's kind of like about a 17-year-old girl whose parents divorced. Her father moved to North Carolina near the beach. And it's kind of like she's um, going, kind of like visiting her dad, but she doesn't have a good relationship with him. And then they kind of connect and she stays with him at the beach house throughout the summer. And then she meets a guy and there's like a love story. So it's a really, really sweet, cute book. I highly, highly recommend The Last Song. Um, if you haven't read any of Nicholas Sparks' books, I recommend um, starting with this one. The last song is just really good. 
Um, it's a bit chunky, but it's easy to get through. And like I said, it's perfect for summer because it literally takes place at a beach house on the beach. There's sea turtles in it. It's just a really, really beautiful story. I highly recommend checking it out in the movie as well. So definitely read the last song from Nicholas Sparks. But of course, re you could check out any of his other books. They're all really great summer reads. And the next author that I recommend, I love all of her books, is Jenny Hale. She wrote so many adorable books. She writes more like adult chiclet romance, I guess you could call it, but I've read so many of her books and I literally love all of them. You probably know who she is. If you've seen her books, you know. So I highly recommend reading any book by Jenny Hale. She has like Christmas winter books, but she also has a lot of like summery books. I recommend all of them. Two of my favorites are The Summer House and this one, which is The Summer Hideaway. Look at how beautiful the cover is. It's just super beachy. Um, all of her books, like the summer ones, take place at the beach. This one's fun. I read this last summer. It's basically about two best friends who leave the city and they move to the beach and they open a little ice cream shop. So it's just perfect. It says uplifting feel good summer romance. That's literally how I can describe her books. They're just perfect lighthearted summer reads and they're not too big. They're not too chunky. They're just really easy to get through. I love her writing. I love her characters. They're just really like lighthearted reads, which I usually prefer in the summer, just quick beach reads. Um, so I highly recommend reading J any Jenny Hill book, but this one in particular, The Summer Hideaway was really, really good. The next author who's pretty similar to Jenny Hale that I recommend, um, I have all of her books on Kindle, is Holly Martin. So Holly Martin, again, just like Jenny Hale, she writes like adult romance and like chiclet. Um, she reads, she writes like Christmassy books, winter books, spring books, and summer. Like they take place in all the seasons. I love all of her books. I've read so, so many of them and I highly recommend all of them. She has just like really cute summer series. Um, and like they're just really really easy lighthearted, fluffy if you like that like Hallmark style in a book where it's not dark it's just very lighthearted and like um, upbeat and fun and cheerful then you'll really like Holly Martin's books. So I have them all on Kindle so I don't have them to share but I definitely recommend Holly Martin as well. The next author, of course, I'm not even going to show you a book because you know who she is, is Abby Jimenez. Everyone's been talking about her in the community. I read, um, where is it? The first book I read from her was recently this one, The Happy Ever After Playlist. I absolutely loved it. Um, as I mentioned in my reading vlog for the romance -a when I read this, that video is up. I'll link it up here if you missed it. Check out the reading vlog where I go into this in more detail, but I absolutely loved it. It was my first book from her. It's the second book. Um, the first book is actually The Friend Zone and I haven't read it, so I'm reading it out of order. But I do want to read her other books this summer and everyone loves them. So I just feel like Abby Jimenez, like her books are just great summer reads. So definitely check out any of her books. But this is the one that I've read. So I recommend this one. But any of Abby Jimenez, her books are just perfect for summer. Just fun, clean, for the most part, adult romance. Um, same thing with Emily Henry. Um, you guys know who she is. I read Beach Read from her. Um, she has so many other books. Um, her newest one is Happy Place that just came out. Everyone's loving it. Um, she's another author that I recommend reading in the summer. Again, um, her books are just very, like, for the most part, light and fluffy. Beach Read is a little darker, but I definitely want to read more of her books this summer. I've only read Beach Read so far. And for our book club for June this month, we're reading People We Meet on Vacation by her. Um, if you want to join our book club, um, the information is below. You just have to subscribe to this channel and follow us below on Instagram and Discord for all the updates. But we're starting for June for the first time. So we're reading People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. So it's not too late if you want to jump in and read with us. But yeah, so I think her books are just perfect for summer. Again, when I think of summer reads personally, I think of like adult romance, basically. Um, so that's why I'm sharing like that genre in this video. But if you like to read fantasy more and like other like darker books and darker genres, feel free to do whatever you want. This is just my recommendation. So I definitely recommend checking out Emily Henry's books as well for the summer. The next one is a YA book that I read a couple months ago. 
Um, I had never read anything from this author. This was stuff my sister's book. I hope I'm saying this right. I read this and I absolutely loved it. It's called Love a la Mode. Um, it's just like the cutest YA young adult book for summer. It's basically about a girl who she loves to bake. So she goes to this like cooking school in Paris for the summer and she meets a guy and there's romance while they're like in this like cooking culinary school and it literally in Paris um you can't get cuter than this it was the perfect just light-hearted fluffy adorable young adult read I just think it's perfect for summer um I love the vibe of it like it takes place in the summer in Paris so you can't get much um better than that I highly recommend checking this one out it was just such a cuper a super cute read and the next one I recommend is from one of my favorite authors or two authors, Christina Lauren. You guys probably know who they are. They write adult romance and they're two best friends who are authors, Christina and Lauren, but they write together um, if you didn't know. So I love, I've read many, many of their books and I always really enjoy them. Stuff does too. Um, the one though, like you could read any of their books in the summer. They're all like lighthearted reads, but the one I recommend reading this summer from them is the Unhoneymooners. Like, look at how beautiful and summery this cover is. It's just stunning, and, like, the spine is blue. It's just, like, the most beautiful summery book. Like, this would look so cute, even just, like, on your beach blanket and everything. It's just so cute with, like, the toucan and, like, the monstera plant and flowers. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love this. I read this last summer. It's just really fun. It's basically about this girl who's a twin, and her twin's getting married and um, her sister and her husband, or they can't go on their honeymoon because they get sick. So she ends up going on the honeymoon with the best man um, who's like her nemesis. And then they go on the honeymoon together, pretend to be a married couple, and they fall in love. It's just like a really, really fun book. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one last summer. It's just the perfect summer read with, like, the honeymoon theme and everything. Um, they go to Maui, so it's really, really fun. I highly recommend it. It's one of probably my favorite read I've read from them. Let me know if you've read it and what you thought, but I definitely recommend any Christina Lauren book, but The Unhoneymooners is perfect for summer. The next one I recommend is probably my all-time favorite book, if I had to choose. Um, you guys know I love adult romance. So this isn't technically a summer book, but like I said, I feel like when I think of summer reading, I think of any like romance. So this is my favorite book of all time. So I have to share it. It's The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This is like both me and Steph's like probably favorite book of all time that we've ever read. It's just so, so good. You guys have probably read it or heard of it. If you're a fan, if you've read it, please let us know in the comments below because we love this so much. We would love to chat about it with you in the comments. It's just so good in every way. It's a workplace romance. They're kind of like, it's enemies to lovers. It's just like the most perfect book, basically. Like, it's our all-time favorite. So I had to share it because you could definitely read it in the summer. The cover is just so cute. Like, I love the summery colors, the blue and yellow. It's just the best romance book we've ever read, so we highly recommend it. You could definitely read it this summer. It's very lighthearted. The ha characters have great banter. We just love everything about it, and they actually turned it into a movie, if you didn't know. I believe it's on Amazon Prime Video, and I love the movie. I think they did a really good job. Lucy Hale is in it. She plays the main character, Lucy, which has the same name. So definitely recommend checking out The Hating Game by Sally Thorne if you haven't read this and also watched the movie. Let us know if you're a fan. But this is our favorite book, so of course I had to share it because I definitely think it's perfect to read in the summer. The next book I'm recommending is also one of me and Steph's favorites that I read, I think, back in January. This is Waiting for Tom Hanks by Carrie Winfrey. You guys probably know who she is. She's another, like, adult romance author. Um, her books have been getting more popular lately. This is the first one I read from her and the only one, but we have her other books. We just need to read them. And again, it's another favorite of me and Stuff's. So we both love this book. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's so, I love the story. It's like, 
A movie starts filming in the main character's neighborhood. She gets a job to like work on the set. Then she meets the lead actor and they end up falling in love. And it's just so cute. There's so many Tom Hanks like movie references from like Sleepless in Seattle and just like it's just the most adorable rom-com book. So of course I recommend it for reading in the summer because like I said, I love reading like rom-coms in the summer. So I highly recommend Waiting for Tom Hanks if you haven't read it. It's just the most adorable, lighthearted romance. Love the characters, love the development with their story and the relationship. And it's so fun that like she works on the movie set for a movie, a rom-com that's being filmed in her town. So I love the plot. I love everything about it. It's such a good one. I highly recommend reading Waiting for Tom Hanks this summer. Again, another favorite romance book of me and Steph's. We like this. We love the same books. This is another one of our favorites. I don't think it takes place in the summer, um, but I still wanted to share it because it's a, such a fun book. So we love this book. This is The Tourist Attraction. Um, this, is, this one has also been pretty popular in the booktube community. It's just like so, so good. It's like the main character goes on a trip to Alaska. She meets this guy who owns a diner and they fall in love. It's just so good. And it's like her, um, her, her time, like her vacation in Alaska, what she gets up to and everything goes wrong. And the guy's kind of like, he comes to her rescue. It's definitely like a grumpy sunshine romance, which I love. So I loved everything about this. I read this, I think at the beginning of the year as well. I highly recommend it. Like I said, you can read it anytime, but I think it's cute to read for summer. It's just the perfect like summery, just like fun book, even though the cover kind of does look wintry because it's Alaska, but I don't think it takes place in the winter. So I think you can read this anytime. I highly, highly, re highly recommend the tourist attraction to read, put it on your TBR to read this summer. And then the next books that I have to show, um, this is a... I think it's a middle grade duology. So Steph got these books um, like when we were maybe in high school or something and loved them. So I read them and they're really, really cute. So it's a duology. Again, this is for younger readers, but I know a lot of us adults like to read younger books for like, like middle grade and such. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Read whatever you enjoy. I like reading a middle grade book here and there just when I want something quick and easy. So this is very summery. So the first one is called Isabel of the Whales. I don't know if you guys have heard of this. Um, I haven't heard anyone talk about it on YouTube, but like, again, it's very old, but it's so cute. It's about a girl named Isabel who she goes on like a school field trip in Massachusetts. Um, they do, they go on like a whale watching trip for school and then she ends up falling overboard into the water and then she turns into a whale. <laughs> And it's like her her journey as a whale. So it's just like a really cute middle grade book. Um, Yeah, her life as a whale, basically. And so the first one's Isabel of the Whales. And then the author wrote a second book later on called Just the Loop's Song. So look at how like summery these books are. They're perfect for summer. The second one is about like the main character. She ends up falling in love with another whale. It's like a guy named Just the Loop who turned into a whale too. So they end up falling in love. So the second one is kind of like his story, but they're just like really, really cute books. It's a duology and they're super short and quick and easy to read. Um, let me know if you've read this or if you've heard of it. I don't think many people have, but I highly recommend checking out the Isabel of the Whales series this summer. The next one I have to recommend is from my all-time, one of my all-time favorite young adult authors, Kira Cass. This is The Siren. Look at how beautiful this cover is. Like, I can't even. Like, the waves and everything. So beautiful. You guys know this author by now. She wrote the Selection series, which I read a million years ago. Absolutely loved it. Um, and yeah, this is a, her standalone book that she wrote, just called The Siren. Um, it's about a siren, basically. It's a really, really cute beachy read um, because they're, like, at the beach. It's just a standalone. It's just a really beautifully done very whimsical book and the author Kira Kaus said that she was inspired by Taylor Swift when she wrote this which is really fun and her favorite song um that inspired the book is This Love if you guys know that song and that makes me just love it even more because I'm a huge Swifty as you guys know this book is just so beautiful I highly recommend checking out The Siren by Kira Kaus if you haven't read it 
and it's just like perfect like it's just a perfect book to have on your tbr for the summer even just the cover of loan is so gorgeous so highly recommend checking out the siren adding this to your summer tbr Staying with the YA um, genre, young adult, I also recommend this series. Um, the, I don't have the first and the third book anymore, but it's called the Anna and the French Kiss series by Stephanie Perkins. You guys probably read this back in high school like I did. Um, it's just like the cutest series. There's three books. They're all like companions about different characters. They're all super cute. I highly recommend them. Um, I have the second book still. I got rid of the first and the third because I didn't feel the need to keep them, but this one's my favorite of the three. If you've read them, what is your favorite? Let me know. This is Lola and the Boy Next Door. This is the second book. I want to read this, like, one more time this summer, um, before I get rid of the, like, before I get rid of it, because I don't really feel the need I, the, to own it much longer, but I wanted to read it one more time before I got rid of it, so I do want to read it this summer, but this one is so good, you guys. The guy Cricket is just, Oh my gosh, amazing. Like, it's like a teenage book, but he is just like one of the most well-written, sweetest male, like, love interest characters I've ever read in a book. If you read this, let me know if you agree. You need to check this one out. If you don't read all three of them, the first one's Anna and the French Kiss, and the third one is Isla and the Happily Ever After, I think. So this is the second one, Lola and the Boy Next Door. I recommend this one the most. This is my favorite. I think most people have read Anna and the French Kiss and know that one, but this one's my favorite and I highly recommend it. It's just like the cutest, cutest, cutest story. Um, they're like neighbors, so it's like a neighbor romance, just a cute, lighthearted young adult book. It's just so adorable, so I highly recommend Lola and the Boy Next Door and the entire Anna and the French Kiss series by Stephanie Perkins. The next recommendation I have for your summer TBR is Atlantia by Ali Condi. This is the author who wrote the Matched series, that dystopian series back in the day. I read that in high school and I liked it. And I also read this one a long time ago. I actually used to have the hardcover, um, but I got rid of it like after I read it. Steph actually just got this copy from um, a used bookstore we went to. And because she wanted to read it, and I really liked it, so I told her to get it. So this is the paperback version of Atlantia. And I kind of forgot what it's about, if I'm being honest. Um, but I know this is a great book to read in the summer because it has to do with, like, the ocean and sirens and stuff. It's just very, like, summery. Um, this is a bit darker. So if you like darker books that, that kind of, like, have a summer setting, you probably like this one. It's just a standalone book, but I really enjoyed it. I read it many, many years ago. Um... So yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, if you like Sirens, basically, that's what it's about. So definitely check out Atlantia by Ali Condi this summer. Those are all the books I have to show you in physical form. And now I'm really quick, quickly going to share some Kindle ones with you that I have, um, that I've read and that I recommend to you. The first one I recommend is A Cottage by the Sea. Um, this one is just again like I'm gonna sound like a broken record in this video it's just the perfect summer book it takes place at a beach cottage like you just like you can't do no wrong like it just looks like the just perfect like summer beach read and I love this author too so I definitely recommend A Cottage by the Sea the next series I recommend is the In on Eagle In at Eagle Point series by Cheryl Woods um now if you if you are a Hallmark watcher um, they actually adapted this series into a TV show on Hallmark called Chesapeake Shores many years ago. I absolutely love Chesapeake Shores. It was my all-time favorite show that Hallmark ever did. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, they don't really play it on Hallmark anymore because they ended the show last year. Um, but you can find it on Amazon Video and such. But yeah, I am obsessed with the show and I'm actually reading the books after the show. So I read book one, which is the Inna Eagle Point. Absolutely loved it. It's the perfect summer book. The entire series is very summery. The show is set in Chesapeake Shores, Maryland. Um, it's all, like all by the beach, all by the water, the marina. It's just very, very perfect for summer. It's my favorite show to watch in the sh summer, so now I'm reading the books. So I recommend starting with, of course, book one, which is the Inna Eagle Point. That's the one I've read. I have yet to read the other ones, but I'm going to read them this summer. 
So the first one is just a really cute second chance romance story. It's just like so beachy. Um, the female lead, Abby, she works in New York. She's like a corporate businesswoman. And then she has two daughters. She's divorced. She ends up moving back home to Chesapeake Shores, Maryland, where she grew up, where her parents had this like big beach house before they divorced. But her dad and her grandma still live there. So she ends up moving back. And that's where her... Um, basically childhood sweetheart and high school sweetheart Trace lives. Um, they were, they grew up together. They like lived in the same town with their, her whole family and they dated in high school and then they went their separate ways after high school. And then it's like their stories, they reconnect. Um, it's just really, really good. And they changed a lot of things for the show, but I think the show and the book are both really good in different ways. So definitely check out the In at Eagle Point series by Cheryl Woods. Let me know if you're a fan of the Hallmark show Chesapeake Shores, if you've watched it, or let me know if you've read the In at Eagle Point's books. I would love to hear from you, but I definitely recommend it for your summer TBR. The next book that I recommend, I read it, but I got rid of it. I don't have the copy anymore, it is called Love at the Shore. Um, it's actually a Hallmark Channel original movie as well. So they made it into a summer movie. It came out years ago. It's one of my all-time favorite Hallmark movies. Let me know in a comment if you've seen it. It's called Love at the Shore. And if you weren't aware, Hallmark actually has a publishing company where they have writers kind of like take their movies and like turn them into books. So I think that they're closing the publishing company now, but... I really liked it. I bought quite a few of the books. They're basically the movies in written form. So um, I think you can still get the book, Love at the Shore. The author, I think Terry Wilson did it. She's a big writer for Hallmark and I really love the book. It's literally a, exactly like the movie. So you can either read the book or watch the movie. I don't think you need to do both, even though I did. But Love at the Shore is one of my all-time favorite Hallmark movies. Let me know if you've seen it or if you've read the book, but I highly recommend reading the book if you want to check it out. It's just a super easy beach read. Um, the main character, she is a writer, so she goes, to, she takes her two kids, she's divorced, she takes her two kids to stay at like a beach, um, kind of like a beach cottage, like on the water for the summer, so she can get some writing done and some solitude and finish her book. And then of course, it's like a neighbor romance. Um, her neighbor is like obnoxious. She doesn't like him at first, but then they end up falling in love. So it's really, really good. Perfect for summer. It's called Love at the Shore. So you can't beat it. Definitely check out the book by Terry Wilson and you check out the Hallmark movie. I highly recommend it. It's amazing. Let me know if you've watched the movie. It's so, so good. But I definitely recommend that for your summer TBR. The next book I recommend is Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna. I used to have the book, but I got rid of it after I finished it. And I really like the book. It's a pretty chunky one, um, but it's pretty easy to get through. Um, it's basically about like two best friends and it's just kind of like their adventures through their teenage years. And then there's flashbacks to when they were teenagers, but it's also their lives as adults. Um, it's really good. And there's actually, they turned Firefly Lane into a, a Netflix show, if you didn't know. Um, I watched season one and I really liked it. It has like Katherine Hegel in it. Um, I think season two just come out, came out and I haven't watched it yet, but I recommend checking out Firefly Lane if you haven't read it by Kristen Hanna. It's just a really good summer book and a lot of it I think does take place in summer. It's just about two girls who are best friends in their lives, so it's the perfect thing to read in the summer. The next book I recommend is The Beach House by Mary Alice Monroe. You guys probably know her. I think she's um, a mystery romance author for like adult books. The Beach House I read um, years ago. I don't have the copy anymore, but it was super good. Basically like the last song from Nicholas Sparks. It's kind of like the main character. She had like a rough um, like upbringing with her family. So she, she like moved away from her family and then she goes back to their beach house to kind of like reconnect with her mother. And then there's like... Um, this guy that she used to know and like they fall back in love during the summer so it's just the perfect summer book um they actually made it a hallmark movie as well and i really really like it um i think they did a really good job um let me know if you've seen it it's called the beach house just like the book but definitely check out the book and the movie this summer i highly recommend adding them to your tbr and then another like lighthearted, fun adult romance book I recommend because 
I love reading books about weddings in the summer because summer is a big time for weddings. So I recommend reading the Wedding Date series by Jasmine Guillory if you guys um, haven't heard of it. It's such a good series. I love Jasmine Guillory. I love everything that she writes. She's another one of my favorite adult romance authors. It's just really good um, about like a wedding. And I think it's another like maid of honor, best man, fall in love, romance. It's just so, so cute. And it's a companion series. So like all the characters show up in each of the books. I've read the fur, I've read, I think three and I really like it. So definitely check out The Wedding Date by Gaz Jasmine Guillory if you haven't yet. The next summer book and author I recommend is called Beach Town by Mary Kay Andrews. You guys probably know who she is. She's another big adult romance author who's been around. Um, I have only read Beach Town from her, but I really recommend it. I really, really like it. Um, just another, again, great summer beachy book. Has a nice beachy cover. Her books are great to read on the beach. And um, like I said, I really enjoyed Beach Town. Um, I actually have some of her other books on my TBR for this summer, so stay tuned for the my TBR video. It's coming soon. But yeah, I read Beach Town from her and I really enjoyed it, so I highly recommend checking out Beach Town by Mary Kay Andrews this summer. The next one's a YA book that I read a long time ago. I loved it. It's called Caribbean Cruising by Rachel Hawthorne. It's such a fun, lighthearted young adult. Again, kind of like chiclet, easy to read, just lighthearted book, like YA book. Um, I read it a long time ago, so I kind of forgot what it's about. But it's basically about a girl who like goes on a cruise to the Caribbean, just like the name in the summer. And it's just kind of like what she gets up to. There's like romance in it. It's just like really fun summer cruise book. So I highly recommend Caribbean Cruising. Another YA book that I read a long time ago that I recommend is Open Road Summer by Emery Lord. I read this one a long time ago. You guys probably have seen it, but I wanted to share some throwbacks in this video as well um, in case you haven't read them. But I'm pretty sure, um, like I said, I read it a long time ago, so I kind of forgot all the details. But it's kind of about a girl who takes like a road trip for the summer. Um, I believe there's like a musician involved, but it's really cute. I love road trip books in the summer. I think they're really, really fun. So definitely recommend Open Road Summer if you haven't read it. The next YA book I recommend for summer as well, I read a long time ago, is The Unexpected Everything by um, Morgan Madsen. Um, her books are just fun. I've read all of her young adult books. This one is has such a cute story. It's about um, a teenage girl who gets a summer job as a dog walker and then she meets this guy. So there's a romance and it's really fun seeing her as a dog walker. I'm a huge dog person, so I think it's just super cute. It's such a fun book. So I highly recommend checking out The Unexpected Everything. Another author I recommend, another young adult author, if you haven't read her books, is Sarah Dessen. My favorite is Along for the Ride. Um, I read this in high school all, with all of her books. They're just really good, lighthearted, kind of like summery romance teen books. So a lot of them have like a lot of self-discovery in them and everything. So I highly recommend checking out Sarah Dessen's books if you haven't yet. The next series that I loved that's a young adult series that I don't think a lot of people know about is called the Lost Voices series by Sarah Porter. Let me know if you know it because a lot of people don't know it. It's a mermaid series and Steph and I love anything to do with, with mermaids. It's a beautiful series. The covers are stunning. It's a trilogy so there's three books. I loved all of them. I read all of them like in high school and I know a lot of people don't really know about them and they should. If you like romance, if you like romance, young adult and mermaids, check it out. Perfect summer reads because they're about mermaids and the ocean and everything like that. So highly recommend checking out the Lost Voices series. Um, another YA book I read many years ago recommend is Two Way Street. I think the author's Lauren Barnhold, if I, you guys probably know who she is. But it's another cute young adult book. Um, it's just like a road trip book. Um, so I think from what I remember, I could be wrong because I read it a long time ago. I think the two characters, they used to date and their exes or something. And then they get kind of like stuck going on a road trip together. So it's like forced proximity. And then I think they fall back in love. But it's a cute teen, like another road trip book if you like to read about road trips. Highly recommend it. I think it's really, really cute. Another um, good one 
that's also a road trip one I read is Let's Get Lost. You guys might remember it. So if you love road trip books, definitely rec recommend checking out Let's Get Lost too. Perfect for summer. One of my all-time favorite, I think it's middle grade series. Let me know if you've read it, Steph, and I loved it. It's the Madison Finn series. Um, I We found the books on a whim, like at our, um, our store called Ocean State Job Lot when we were younger. They just sold the books and we found them there on a whim and we love them. We read pretty much the entire series. There's a lot of books. It's just such a cute middle grade series. It's about a girl named Madison. It's just kind of like her life. She's in middle school. It's just like a, all about her life as like a middle schooler and she has a pug. It's just like a super cute series. Steph and I have always loved it. We've reread it multiple times. We love the Madison Finn series. They're very lighthearted, easy reads. Some of them do take place in the summer as well. So we definitely recommend checking out the Madison Finn series by Laura Dower. Let us know if you read them. We absolutely love them. Another young adult road trip book I recommend is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. You guys might remember this one. Uh, again, read it in high school. Steph and I loved it. And the author's actually from Connecticut, which is where we're from. So it's pretty cool. Um, I remember discovering that. I thought it was really cool. But it's another book where the characters take a road trip. And I think it's in the summer. So definitely recommend checking it out again if you like road trip books. Another author I recommend for summer reading is Sophie Kinsella. You guys probably know who she is. She's written so many good books. She's like the queen of adult romance and chiclet, kind of like rom-coms. Um, the first book I read from her that I recommend is Can You Keep a Secret? I used to have the physical copy, but I don't anymore. But Steph and I love all of her books. They're so fun, lighthearted, fluffy, like good beach reads. Um, we have a lot of them. We read so many, so I'd, but I'd recommend starting with Can You Keep a Secret if you haven't read any of her books. But let me know if you're a Sophie Kinsella fan. We love all of her books and they're perfect for the summertime. The next young adult book, um, again, another older one, a throwback. Um, it's like a, um, it's like a bind up of two books. I think the first one is That Boy and the second one is Endless Summer, but it's like a bind up we had of two books. Um, I'll put a picture of it. Again, it's just a really cute like young adult summer book about like teenagers finding love in the summertime. Um, I think there's a love triangle with two brothers, kind of like The Summer Turned Pretty. I just remember it being really cute, so I highly recommend checking out that series or that duology as well. The next one is Seventeen Summer by, I think it's Maureen Daly. Um, another young adult book I read in the summer when I was in high school. Just about a girl in her 17th year of life um, with like romance and just life and it, just like as a high schooler. And I think it takes, it's like all like her life in the summer. So it's perfect for summer if you're looking for um, a young adult summer book. So definitely recommend Seventeen Summer. The next series I have to recommend for summer that you guys probably know is the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series by Anne Brashears. It's just classic. Everyone knows it. I love the movies. They made some movies and I love the books. I've read them multiple times when I was younger. Absolutely love them. Let me know if you're a fan. Perfect, perfect beach reads. Just about four girls who are best friends and their lives and a lot of it takes place in their summers they're just in high school and they're like figuring out their lives so they're going to college and it's just like their lives just light and fluffy they find romance um and it's all about like their friendship and what they get up to together in the summer so highly recommend this series it's so cute um definitely check it out for your summer reading list the next series is The Wake series by Amanda Hawking. I actually haven't finished the series, but I recommend it um, from what I've read. So it's another young adult series. I don't know if a lot of people know about it. Stuff I actually found in the books and then I read two of them. So I haven't finished the series, but I really need to. But I'm pretty sure it's about like a girl, something with like mermaids or sirens. I forget exactly, but it's kind of like of a more like a fantasy type book series but I think it takes place in the summer and it has like water on the cover it's just like very appropriate for summer so I highly recommend checking out that series the wake series two more to go and then we're done 
The next one is Paper Towns by John Green. You guys probably know who John Green is. He did The Fall in Our Stars and so many other books. Um, Paper Towns is probably one of my, like, my all-time favorite from him. Again, it's another fun book about, it's just like a young adult book, teenagers that kind of like take a road trip for the summer. Um, it's just really good. There's romance in it. There's friendship. It's just like about high schoolers and like a road trip. I highly recommend it and they did turn it into a movie with Nat Wolf and it's so so good and Cara Delevingne is in it um and Anne Ansel who is the lead in Fault in Our Stars. I highly recommend Paper Towns. Check out the movie too. The movie honestly I think the movie is even better than the book but I still recommend the book Paper Towns from John Green as well but the movie is amazing too so let me know if you've read it or seen the movie. Um, I highly recommend both the book and the movie Add them to your summer reading list if you want another road trip book. The last one I recommend is also an older young adult anthology book. You guys probably remember this. It's called Summer Days and Summer Nights by Stephanie Perkins and a bunch of other authors. Um, I read this a long time ago. It's an anthology, which means it's a bunch of like smaller little books by like a bunch of authors combined into one book. So each author, they're all like popular young adult authors. Um, they all wrote their own story and they're all like summary like young adult stories and they're all different and they're all good so it's a fun anthology it's very lighthearted. if you just want to read some like short stories that are summer appropriate I highly recommend checking out summer days and summer nights but that is it you made it to the end of this video I know it got long so thank you so much for sticking through to the end if you made it through to the end leave a sun emoji in the comments um so i know but i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed hearing my summer reading tbr or my summer recommendations of books that i think you should add to your tbr to read this summer um i highly recommend checking out all of these books um and yeah i hope this was helpful if you have any more to recommend that i didn't mention please leave your summer reading recommendations down below. I'm always looking for new ones from you guys. I would love to hear from you. So leave your recommendations down below. Comment below if you've read any of the books I mentioned and let me know what you think. I would love to hear. But thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. Make sure to subscribe to our channel down below so you're up to date on all of our new videos every week. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Join our book club down in the description box. And check out our book club intro video above for more information on that. And that is all for today. We love you all and we will see you in our next video. Take care everybody and happy summer reading. Bye! Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you